Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop the heat. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop the heat. Don't pull them in. It's on the beat, and we're heating up these Long Island streets. Niente, wepa, guys. We're here, ready to get started on this border installation. So we're here in Baldwin, New York. We're about to start a peerless WBV three-section border. It's an oil fire system, and there's also a hot water system with a coil, domestic hot water coil. So guys, I'm excited because it's the beginning of the season. We're about to enter, enter fall. And guys, you know what time it is? It's border season, baby. And I'm ready to bring the heat. So guys, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Wepa. Okay guys, whenever you're doing any type of board installation, I like to do it in phases. So phase one for me is very basically is prep. What is prepping? Prepping is protecting the floors, protecting the walls, protecting the working area. But you gotta protect the home of the of the customer, right? It's your investment. You wanna make sure you do the clean job, the right job, and protect any anything. I don't care if it's a bar, I don't care if it's a shoe, uh, uh, a bookcase, I don't care what it is, but you wanna protect the customer's belongings. It's very, very important. And guys, when I tell everybody, pay attention to detail. Alright? It's Louis the Border Man. It's getting cold outside. And we got the hot stuff. We got the hot stuff. Baby. We're heat your house all winter long. The hot stuff. We got the hot stuff. Baby. When you're heated, broke, we'll turn it on. The hot stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay guys, phase number two, uno, dos, that's right. So second phase is basically demo, demolition. What are we doing is removing the water from the border, taking it from the, from the border, not only from the border, from the heating system. And the, next, and the next thing you wanna do after that is actually to start disassembling the actual border. Disconnecting the oil line, disconnecting the electrical, the exhaust pipe, etc. So basically it's demolition. So once we take out the border, then we're ready to get to work. All right, woo! Guys, we're phase number three, baby. That's right, uno, dos, tres. So right now we're installing the border, guys. So this will take a little bit of time because in this particular job, it's a little tight in there, so you're gonna fit so many people comfortably. I mean, you can fit a couple of people there, but it's you know it's not that comfortable. However, we work as a team, guys. So the the lead mechanic is actually doing the job with his helper, and somebody else, the other helper, the second helper, is outside behind the scenes getting things prepped up, like putting Teflon tape, putting pipe though etc or looking for the fittings whatever they need so guys stay tuned because this is a banger baby Whippa! Nuyo 
Caldero. Fuego, fuego. Llama Rubio Caldero. Officially a wrap. We're getting closer and closer to the finish line. We finished doing the water piping, and now we're just finalizing the actual electrical work. But you guys can see, we're almost there, baby. We're pretty much done. So it's a wrap. So guys, with that being said, guys, without further ado, what do I tell you guys? Subscribe, 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 guys. I hope you like. You hope you like this video. I hope this video was a value for you because, guys, this is what it takes to do a boiler, especially in a confined space. Because as you guys can see. It's a pretty tight spot, if you ask me. So guys, listen, it's that time of the year. It's fall, we get to the heating season. We're approaching the winter. And what does that mean? Heat, baby! That's right, Louis the Bullets gonna bring you the heat. Call Louis the Bullets at 516-377-520. And that's for, who's that extra puppy? Louis the Bullets, man! Weapon!